On a recent trip to Las Vegas, we went to two Goodwills and two Salvation Armies. Because Las Vegas is a bit of a migratory community, it's one of our favorite places to thrift. While we were at the Goodwill on Cheyenne and Rainbow, we ran into Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. She, she's a YouTuber I've been watching for a, almost a year and she gives great information. I felt a little apprehensive about approaching her, but she was lovely, very kind, and informative. Please watch the video till the end where I show you what we purchased, how much we paid, and how much we expect to sell it for. Also, I will be showing you how I decorated my home with some of these items. Come see the treasures we found. We're here at the Salvation Army in Henderson. We love coming to this one because it's right down the street from our favorite Goodwill, so it makes it super convenient. So right as we walked in, I found Murano! I'm so excited! It's a... It's a, I think it's a Murano glass flower. It's so beautiful. It looks Italian because of the way that the, the petals are pinched right at the edges. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So now my eyes are peeled uh, for anything that could possibly be Murano because uh, one recommendation I have for you is that if you see one really awesome thing, uh, there's a good likelihood that you'll find something else that's really cool or similar to it. So here I find some more of these beautiful little star um, candle holders. They're lead crystal, I know that. Um, I don't know that I can identify them specifically. I've seen some that say Michael C. Fina, 5th Avenue, um, and some that say um, just lead crystal. So. I'm not sure what they are, but I know that they're beautiful and they are lead crystal and they sparkle beautifully and um, so now I have six. So we were staring at this plate here um, because it looked really old and um, my husband pulled back the, the tape a little bit and we saw that it's Picard um, China. I think that's how you say it. Picard or Picard. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it was that that mark there is from 1918. So it was an older plate and we just d were debating, do we pick it up or do we not pick it up? Because um, it's, it's a difficult sell. Uh, it might be sitting around for a very long time um, because somebody might just be looking for that specific item. 
so it would be a little tricky. So this beautiful crystal bowl we were staring at, uh, and my husband did pick it up. It was beautiful. It had beautiful roses on the outside of it. Um, and when my husband went to pick it up, he got cut. <laughs> so it had a, a nasty chip on it, and uh, we decided to leave that behind. And here we found this beautiful Delft blue bowl uh, that did come home with us, and you'll see it um, later on because I do have it styled. It's so beautiful. Uh, so yes, this made it home with us. Ooh, and look at this. We found some Polish pottery. It's a, a small pitcher or a creamer. Uh, but it definitely came home with us. It's so beautiful. I mean, look at this. Oh, so gorgeous. And here I'm showing you the label. But it's just so beautiful and it didn't have any damage on it. I don't think that anything we got had any damage on it. And it is, there's the Delft Blue Bowl and the beautiful little, um, lead crystal stars and my gorgeous Murano I hope I hope it's Murano I think it's it looks like it's Murano so we'll see but uh, yeah here we are at one of our favorite Goodwills and this is the one on Rainbow and Cheyenne we're walking in and look for the color of the week so they have a billboard there showing what the color of the week is and if it's on uh, Monday you get everything for a dollar with that color or if it's a different day of the week then it's 50% off. The sad thing is that I usually never find anything good uh, with that color sticker. Um, it's very rare that I find something good. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes but um, that's that's the color of the week. So it was slim pickings at this uh, Goodwill this day. Um, all we found was this bulbous blue vase that was just beautiful. So we ended up taking that and that was the only thing we got. So this Goodwill is a new, one of the new Goodwills and it is in Henderson and it's one of our favorite ones. Um, and it was well picked over this day because we found one thing, one little baggie of these uh, pewter ornaments that were just beautiful and um, they're Hallmark I believe and they are just so gorgeous so picked up that baggie and that was it I'm so angry because this Salvation Army is where we got the bulk of uh, our items that we found and it got all corrupted. I have no idea what happened, but all the footage was gone. This is the Salvation Army in Summerlin. So at this one, we were at um, Salvation Army and I found this Johnson Brothers beautiful little um, creamer. It, it's just so, look at this. Look at the handle and it's pristine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's brand new, it looks like. Um, and if I can get in the camera. Anyway, look at that. It's so pretty. And obviously it's gonna go with my other Johnson Brothers pink um, plates because it, the flowers are almost identical. They're, it, it's just, they're beautiful. And this is going to look absolutely gorgeous 
and on my van, um, on my china cabinet. I couldn't think. Words are hard. So anyway, we paid $3.99 for this. And I mean, look at it. It's just perfect. There's, it, and it's super clean. It, it's like shockingly clean. So anyway, got that. Super happy with it. And then my husband found this, um, which is so, look at this, it's so pretty. It's a gravy boat. Look at how pretty the edge is and the handle and then the, the scene. Uh, this is called English Scenic Warranted Staffordshire Eng Adams, England. Do you say? Staffordshire or Staffordshire? I think it's Staffordshire, no? Anyway, um, so I got that and uh, these stickers, my goodness, are, it, this was $3.99. Um, so anyway, got that one. And then I found this and I, I picked it up, looked at it. It's, it's got a mark on the bottom I believe it's J, so it's imprinted and then it also handwritten. Um, it was $1.99 uh, and I thought, this is so pretty. I didn't know who it was by or anything, so I just kind of put it back. And then my husband picked it up as well and he, he really liked it too. So I thought, okay, if both of us like it, let's get it um, because it, and it was a dollar ninety nine, so what? You know, it didn't hurt anything. It was dollar ninety nine, so got that. And I just think it's so pretty. I love the colors, and and then it has like a little decoration there. I just it's so cute. So I got that. I don't know if it's a known artist or if it's um, you know project piece, but I really like it. Um, this I just picked because it's utilitarian and I needed another lipstick container and it's Lucite and it was, um, you know, cut nicely. It, it's, it's a nice piece, so why not? I got it for $1.99. Um, I, my husband picked this up too. Look at this, look at this. Um, it is, it's got a beautiful scene. Uh, it says Fort Dearborn, Chicago. Uh, so I guess that's where the scene is supposed to be. And it has, you know, a beautiful bottom. It's a, it's an egg cup, um, but it, and it's broken. It's broken, but I don't care because this is so pretty and I've never seen, I've never seen another one like it. So I don't mind. Um, and it was $3.99. Again, this is just for decor. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna use it, um, but it's really pretty. It's, it's so beautiful. And then I got this. I believe my husband found it. It's so beautiful. It's Polish pottery. And it is just, I, it's my colors. I love these colors. It's just so pretty. And you can see on the bottom, it's handmade in Poland and it was $3.99. So super happy with this. This is gonna be so pretty with like some flowers um, and in it and just kind of for home decor. So pretty. Um, and if, if there isn't anything wrong with it that I can see unless I wash it and see that there's some crazing or, or breaks in there, um, I don't see anything. It looks pristine. Uh, so I could also use it, so I might. So got that, and then I, I already have two of these, but I love picking them up, and I found four more, and they were just $1.99, so they're, they're lead crystal. Um, I thought, this, these are gonna be beautiful for a tablescape, uh, for around Christmas time. I could even use them for 4th of July next year if I wanted to, but uh, definitely for Christmas time, I think it would make for a beautiful table de um, 
decor. Um, so yeah, super happy with these. Um, and I don't know, I don't know that I would sell these, but I, I guess if I got an offer, I would. I uh, don't know how much they sell for, but it'll be in the description. And then um, my husband found these. These I regret just a little bit. Um, they're beautiful. I don't need more glass, but these are crystal. Um, they are, oh gosh, um, can't remember. I wrote it down, but I can't remember what these were. Um, got them for $1.99. Uh, and and since then I've seen I've seen a couple more uh, at different stores so I don't know I don't think they sell for very much but they're really pretty I think for Easter they look like little daisies um, so for Easter again you know just to kind of what do you say spatter about or smatter about I don't know um, anyway for placing these around a uh, table decor would be really pretty uh, with really pretty like pastel color candles so got those um, and then uh, I found these my husband found these these are again princess house they're very heavy uh, but they're really cool uh, they kind of look like bunt cakes a little bit but they're really pretty uh, and anyway I, I guess I have a thing for princess house so anyway it's th they were $3.99 each and, and then I came around the corner and I saw these they're so cute they're pure one uh, they're really I mean look at this look at this so cute so cute um, these were $3.99 each and I love them. They're so cute. They're gonna be up somewhere in my house for Christmas time. Um, so I got those. Uh, my husband found this. It's a combo. It's attached. So the gravy boat is attached to the, the plate. Um, I don't see a mark. Like uh, I didn't see mark so I'm not quite sure who made them um, they do have like, these people and a boat and a castle so yes please uh, there it's obviously really filthy dirty so I will be washing this really well um, I don't think I'll be using it it's definitely crazed um, and it's got some gross gunk on the bottom which I'll be cleaning out but uh, it'll make for really cool decor and you know have some greenery coming out of it um, I think will look just beautiful so let me get this super sticky label off um, anyway yeah so gonna have that um, my husband also found this which is gorgeous it's gorgeous um, and it's Johnson Brothers English Chippendale. It was a dollar ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine. And uh, this is, you know, for my Thanksgiving decor on my on my china cabinet would look really beautiful. So super happy with this one. Um, he also found me this one, which is also. Uh, no, actually, this is J and G Meekin, um, but I have a larger plate with more brown in it and these colors, so perfect for Thanksgiving. Perfect for Thanksgiving decor. So, and this one was a dollar ninety nine. Um, found I found this Delph blue, re really heavy, very you know, sturdy play bowl, little bowl. Um, it, it was $5.99, but it is hand-painted Delft blue. 
So super happy with this one. I love the colors. It's going to really look beautiful with my other blue and white um, dishes. So super happy with that one. Um, I also got this. I mean, I mean, oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful. This is Enoch Woods and it is English English Scenery Woods Wear um, by Wooden Sons and it was $1.99 and then this one I mean it, it has this basket weaving around the edge and all the beautiful flowers and brown so again this will be beautiful with my Thanksgiving decor uh, it is a spode, spode, cowslip. So super happy with that one. I mean, look at how beautiful. Hopefully I can find some more of those. They're really beautiful. And um, I saw this, I've never picked one up. It, I think it was originally from Walmart. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I, it looks like Walmart down there. Walmart something, um, but it was $1.99 and um, I think this will, yeah, I'm going to wash it really well, but I think this will look really cute um, it, next to my cocoa bar, you know, like for hot chocolate, um, maybe put some marshmallows in there um, for the grandkids and for all of us actually, um, but I think that this is going to be really cool, um, but I'm, I'm like going to really wash it out and um, disinfect it. Yeah, that sounds like the plan. So I don't know if this is like the ones that people collect, but it's the first one I've found and I I snatched it up, but it was $1.99. I thought, what the heck? I'll just put little marshmallows in it. And I like that it opens from the top so that, um, cause some open down at the bottom and that would be weird to try and get anything out of there. You'd have to pick it up and try and fight with it to get, and then, I don't know, it just seems like stuff will fall out easier. Anyway, so really happy with this. Um, my husband also found this, it's a crock. I've been wanting a crock. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for or how I'm going to style it, but, I will, I will. Um, this has like this suction bit. It looks brand new. It really looks brand new. I mean, look at this. Um, it was $7.99. It doesn't have a marking. Um, kind of looks like my other um, hoe and, and um, McCoy I stuff, but I'm, I'm suspecting this was is probably Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and, but it came with this uh, inside. Um, this little one. How cute is this? It says something on the bottom, but I can't, I can't make it out. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's for what sugar possibly. I don't know. But, um, anyway, yeah. So I was super happy two for one. Um, so $8 and I got both of these. So really happy with that purchase. Um, and then finally we found one of these and we thought, oh, th these are really cool pottery cups. Um, they're really pretty. They have the blue, the blue and brown, and they're kind of cool. They're definitely, um, I think hand, uh, I don't know what you call it, handmade, I don't know. Um, but they have this little marking in the bottom. I don't know if you can make it out. I couldn't make it out. Uh, I saw that it, I, it sort of had a V and then an I. Um, so I couldn't make it out and I found, well, my husband found that, oh, so I was saying, so I found one and then my husband said, gee, it'd be great if we could find another one. And we were looking around, found another one and then another one and then another one. And we were like, yes, 
four of them. Um, so this was really cool. And what we found, and by the way, they were $1.99 each. Um, what we found out is that these are vintage rare University of Victoria coffee cup mugs. And they sell for $20 a piece. So $20 a piece. I wish I could have found more. But anyway, we have the four. We're planning on selling them. And um, they are brand new, never been used. Uh, look, they, they look perfectly pristine, everything. No chips, no dents, no cra cracks, nothing. They are pristine. Look at that. And they're so cool. They're not even super big. Um, so if you don't, you know, want to drink a super amount of coffee, um, you know, they're, they're kind of um, petite. But they're really cool. So anyway, got those. And that was our, our trip to um, Salvation Army. Yeah, that was it. I mean, that was plenty, but yeah, we did good. This time we were at um, Goodwill and I found this and it was the only thing I found on this day uh, at the Goodwill and I happened to meet up with Tiffany from uh, Thrifting Vegas. If you don't watch her, do watch her. She's really cool. She gives a lot of information about the different items at the Goodwill. Um, and she's just, you know, it's really interesting to watch her show. Get, I've learned so much from her and I got to meet her. Uh, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, again, this was the only item that I found at the store, and she said the only reason she didn't pick, pick it up is because she hates to uh, mail glass. Otherwise, she probably would have picked it up. Um, I thought it was cool. I love blue. You know that? I love, if you've been watching me, you know I love blue. Um, so anyway, I was pretty excited to, to find this. I don't know who makes it. I uh, don't. I, I didn't lift up the tag, so I don't know if there is a tag under there or any writing, but I'll keep you posted. And once again, paid for $4.99. I came across this, and it was so well done, so beautiful, um, that I couldn't put it down. I don't know if it's, I think it might be Hawaiian. Um, but it's so beautiful and I just, I couldn't put it down. I picked it up, it's $4.99, I don't know who makes it, it's got this little symbol on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it looks like a little S maybe, but, or maybe I'm seeing things, no it looks like an S, or an 8, I'm not sure. But anyway, it, 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 it's beautiful. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do more research on it. Because I just so and then um, I found this little guy. It's a, it's a Utah, um, why am I drawing a blank? It's a Utah uh, ornament for your Christmas tree. And I, I thought, I mean, I'm assuming it's for the, the Christmas tree, but it was originally $25, um, and it's desert landscape, beacon design. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but it's brand new in the box, and it's really pretty. So, and my husband was born in Utah, so I, would, I picked that up very quickly. And then I found these that I thought were really cool. They were in the bag and new in the box and they are um they're little avon and i don't pick up avon but they're santa ornaments and 
there's five different years. Um, look, look at that. This says 1996 Santa, a source of fine collectibles. I believe these are pewter. Um, so I was excited to find those. Uh, I'll show you, I'll take all of them out and show you um, what they all look like. Okay, I paid $3.99 for all of these. Um, and they, this one is Santa and his sleigh, St. Nicholas, 1995. This one's really cool. It just says Christmas, 97. And it is Santa 97 there. Um, this one is so pretty. I think this is the first one I showed you. Yep. Then this one. Oh. Santa's Arrival 94. And this one. And they're heavy, they're pewter. Father Christmas. Let me show you again because I'm not sure I was in frame. This one. That's so cool. That one. And this one. So yeah, three ninety nine for all of those. That, those are gonna be fun on the Christmas tree. So I was excited to find those and new in the box. So if I wanted to give them away, I could. Um, I haven't decided, I don't know. So we'll see. But yeah, there. That was, that was it at the Goodwill. So the first thing that I do when I um, purchase items from the thrift stores, I, I put some uh, lemon essential oil or some um oh, i hate i hate these stickers because they all smear but uh, i put some oil some lemon oil or some baby oil on the items just to get the um the stickers to come off easier um because they're so sticky look at this um they're so sticky that it's hard to come off and this way I don't have to fight it so much. I'll let it sit for a while until I get around to cleaning this stuff off um, if I'm in not too much of a hurry. And I'll just sit and put these this oil on the the stickers to try and get them off easier and they'll sit for a while until i finish all of them and then once i'm done with all the items that i've picked up then i i pretty much can start peeling off the stickers without too much problem okay so now i'm ready to take the sticker off and see how easily it comes off I'll do another one. I think it just comes right off. Let's see if this one will. Yep. See. So it it works. It it really helps. Um, I try not to do it on things that are going to be really porous. That it might you know obviously that the oil might damage but most of the items uh i don't have a problem with so i want to show you how i've styled some of my recently thrifted finds this is a little bud vase that i believe is czechoslovakian and it's bohemian and it's absolutely beautiful
this beautiful piece of art glass um, I found for two dollars. It is so gorgeous. It's really one of my pride, prized possessions. Um, it is just gorgeous. Um, it has all these swirls within it. Uh, and it is a Costa Boda. And it's heavy. It's really substantial. And I think it was originally, uh, well, intended to be a votive holder, maybe or just a little bowl. I don't know, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Sadly, I don't believe that this is, in fact, Murano. It's absolutely beautiful. It is, you can see it's a crystal flower, and I believe that it is Italian uh, from the uh, Crystal Lavorazione Eseguito di la Tecnica. Sorry about that pronunciation, but it is um, Italian anyway, and it's Italian crystal, so I was happy about that. It's not Murano, I don't think. On this shelf, I have just a whole lot of my blue and white dishes um, and some of my white little pitchers or creamers that I have found along the way and some of uh, some brass items. This uh, cup and saucer are from Occupied Japan um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, which is so amazing to think about they've they've gone through all of that and with no damage um, just a little bit of crazing uh, throughout which is kind of expected um, uh, just due to its age and the change in in temperature but uh, there's no chipping no cracking um, no breaks just absolutely beautiful and uh, they both match and they're in the blue, uh, blue willow pattern uh, but they're just so fun to have uh, just so much history there Now here is uh, something that you saw in the video and uh, this was, um, we found this at the Salvation Army, it's a Delft blue uh, little bowl, absolutely nothing wrong with it, it's just so beautiful, it's really substantial for its uh, size, it, it weighs, it has a good weight to it. And it's just so beautiful. Again, blue and white. I just love it. And I also am uh, using some brass accents. And this was a, is a California pottery poppy trail um, dish. And it has, you can see the little spider um, prongs where they um, they stand it up to blaze it and it has this folk design it's just so cool and it goes beautifully with all my blue and white dishes and it just goes beautifully with the blue willow um, plates that I have here um, and the and the cups that I have um, they these are there's absolutely nothing wrong with these plates so if we wanted to use them we absolutely could use them uh, there's no crazing no chips no cracks uh, they are in perfect condition and they are all Churchill made in England and funnily enough all the little emblems are just a little bit different design even though they're all Churchill England um, so really excited to have all of these beautiful pieces 
um, that I can show as how this decor. This too is a Churchill England cup. Uh, these are these and the ones in the back are just slightly different design um, so I think that maybe uh, some are coffee and the other ones are tea but and then the, there's this little uh, creamer as well that I think is more of a flow blue uh, it has that look even though it's not entirely flowing but um, that just means that the uh, design, the transfer wear, started to bleed a little bit, and that's what Flow Blue stands for. Um, it's got this beautiful design uh, uh, from the maker that uh, made it. But um, so, yeah, funny story about that Flow Blue is that um, those were kind of they were made in England, but they um, the British public didn't like those and so they shipped them all to America and and then here in America they are preferred <laughs> to the regular uh, transfer wear so that's interesting and uh, then I also have this little brass candlestick that I um, placed in there just to offset the different um, the different uh, decor that I have and just so it's not solid blue and white and it just really gives it a little pop of, of color. And uh, these two pieces have a pretty good weight on them. Um, and I don't know who made them, but they're really beautiful. And I think they are the perfect accent. These crystal pitchers and vases um, have been with me for a very long time. Uh, the, the one tubular kind of uh, vase that you see there uh, was from Neiman Marcus that was given to us uh, at our wedding so <laughs> we've had those for a little bit of time um, and just different uh, pieces that we enjoy using from time to time thank you so much for watching if you saw anything you liked please check out our marketplace store by clicking the link in the description below.